going on YouTube? My name is Jen Neal from Res Inspired. Here is the dried piece that I'm getting ready to show you exactly how I did. It has a beautiful shine on it. Uh, everything came out great. I mean, there is a little crazing. You can use GAC 800 for that, but this is getting resin, so I'm not too worried about any type of crazing like that. But no cracks. Everything just came out really good. You can see the details here. Anyway, a lot of you know that I look on Pinterest for a lot of my inspiration. And I have a thing for frogs and sea turtles. I know you guys probably were probably giggling in the other videos with Karen and in the live. But, uh, yeah, so let's do a challenge if you want. Pick a frog. There are so many different color combinations. It's actually pretty cool. Pick a frog and a technique and whatever colors you want to use. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. So this is my frog painting. Well, the inspiration is this guy right here, but I used him as my color scheme, my basic color scheme. So if you guys are looking for ideas and inspiration, just go on Pinterest and type tree frogs or rainbow frogs and yeah, good luck getting out of there. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me. Let's watch the video. Here we go. All right, everybody, so this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm using the same products as before from my pouring medium and my pillow paint. Ultimately, it's Glidden Premium Untinted Base 3 for my pouring medium, along with Craftneaks Bright Tone. I have links in the description for this guy. It's the best varnish you can get so far that I have found, and I have tried two dozen of them. It's the closest you can get to resin. The ratios for Craftneat colorants, it's like an eighth of a teaspoon to four parts of the pouring medium, which is one part bright tone to three parts of the untinted base. All these colors are Craftneat with the exception of two, three of them. Uh, Bujanvia from Color Art, Bling It from Color Art, it's also an art pigment. This is it's metallic orange from Artist Loft with neon orange from Artist Loft. But the rest is all Craftneaks colorants that are just super pigmented. If you would like a private lesson with me to explain on how I do these things, I'm more than willing to help you out. The pillow paint that everything floats on top of is also Glidden Premium. This is Base 1 White Semi Gloss. Okay, and yeah, so let's get started. We got frogs on. Ever since Karen left, I can't, I just can't help myself, man. I did the rainbow pour, and then everybody started doing rainbows, and I was like, spring's coming. I live in the marsh, so I hear all the bullfrogs, and, and they, they bark, and they, they bark and they meow. Like, they sound like cats and dogs. It's crazy. It sounds like there's cats and dogs out in the marsh. I really should take a recording one night and let you guys listen to it. I'm not joking. There's no cats around. What is that? You know, but yeah. So <laughs> when Karen came and the frogs came to mind and then when I did my live pour and I made a frog for Karen, I can't get it out of my head, man. Cause there's a lot of frogs out there that have different colors. It's like the more, <laughs> the more colorful they are, the more poisonous. I have bullfrogs the size of footballs out in my backyard, so it's, the, <laughs> the struggle is real. My dog goes crazy when it rains. I'm just kind of, you know, swirling around. We basically want to go to like three quarters of the canvas because it's always good to add more paint than have to take some away. And you can stretch this. I like putting my canvas in a diamond. So I can go up, down, left, right, or, you know, whatever direction, but corner to corner, which we are going to stretch it out. So we're just going to go up a little bit, down a little bit. You always have to bring your center back and then to the right and to the left 
and back to the center. So there you go. You're like almost covered. You don't have to fight and struggle with trying, you know, to spread it out. It's not 100% perfect. You can bring your thumb down. You can put popsicle sticks to keep it from running over. Don't panic. You're not in a rush. I want the green down first. So you always give your, your puddles a stir first before you go for it. Whoops. <laughs> Going right in the center. I, I, I mark my center and I coil out and I coil in. If there's bubbles for my puddles, <laughs> bubbles for my puddles. That rhymes. That's so ridiculous. I'm not worried about it. Okay, that was Craftneek's green. This is Craftneek's black. I'm just going to pinch the cup. I don't want black to overtake. So I'll probably do a puddle and then just go like this. Because I really want contrast. This is Craftneek's blue. You guys saw me do the tiles. If you didn't, I'll post the link now. Which are just gorgeous. Except for I dropped one. So maybe I will save this. Let's go like that. Like a star. This is my orange. I want the orange to contrast the blue. Actually, we'll do another one. Like that. A little bit of red. I'm not worried about a whole bunch of red right now. This is an interference color. Purple. Because I want that to match that interference. Yes. A little green. Just a little bit. A little blue. Do the gold. Puddle. That's what I want it. Just like that. Some black. Because that's kind of like the eyeball of the frog. Oh, where's my cell activator? Here, here it is. My cell activator. Same way as always. I just want to give it a little whip. Okay. Widen out a little bit. That's it. Need just a little bit in the center. There we go. Now I gotta get Lucy, which doesn't have our Lucy thing on as usual. God, I hate this blow dryer. No, great blow dryer, horrible attachment. As a matter of fact, you need to rotate because it is floating that way. We don't want that. that looks like an evil Snoopy. Anyway, let's do it. Okay. Yep. Oops. going that's so not fair wow you guys now if that isn't a frog in a blender mm, i thought the one that karen and i did was a frog <laughs> yeah. it was okay let's give you a little let's give you a little history okay i went to this reservation in arizona and they had frogs hanging from this like string in the middle of their reservation like real live frogs like they were drying out the, it was crazy looking like oh my god that's so gross na, 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 na. they kept teasing me about frogs but i was like so offended because <laughs> i'm a little miss animal lover and everything but anyway it stuck <laughs> it stuck with me all right, let's do this here. Whoa, huh. we almost weren't ready to do nothing. So you can always like grab your, you know, if you see any white paint, you can grab it and rub your sides like that. OK, 
okay but that is gorgeous oh my gosh here we go all right we're gonna come straight down actually i think i might even need a little more paint wow you always want to keep your eyes on your center because if your center is not moving it's gonna distort straight down boom back and bring the center back to the center right and I know I'm gonna need need need, need to add more paint And then right here. Oh, look at that red, you guys. It's so pretty. Right over. Boom. Right? I'm not worried about going over the total, you know, total edge. But see how... I'm pointing it straight down now because I want the red to form an arrow and not uh, the round of a ball. Boom. There we go. Now we're going to bring it back. Okay, there's a lot of pain on there, but... Whoa! Oh my gosh! Ah, let's shift gears. I hope you will jump onto the frog challenge. Anything you need, message me. If I don't answer promptly, message me again because I get lots of notifications. Join our Art Addicts group. You can also reach me that way. And stay safe, everybody. Peace.